and I think we are back. Um, yes, so hello everybody. <laughs> Matt is here. Thank you very much, Matt, for joining in. This is a very impromptu stream. Wasn't planning to do this tonight. I didn't know how long Hero Quest was going to take, but it's 10 o'clock. I've got an hour before I go to bed, so I figured I want to play this game again, so I'm going to do it. Um, Miguel's here as well. Didn't watch part one yet. That's fine. Don't worry about that. I'm going to turn the volume up a bit. Let me know if it's too loud. I've actually got it playing in my ears, but I'm going to take this out because it's a bit... Yeah. Um, right, okay, so can you see that on screen? I don't know whether you can. It's not showing up, is it? Bear with us a minute. Uh, I need to just enable this because it's a blank screen. Where is it? Where is it? It was here and it's gone. Is that it? That's it. There you go. Right, so... Oh, Gareth's here as well. Excellent. Right, so the first thing is... Uh, I don't know which case I'm going to play tonight, so I want your opinions. We have a choice of... We're going to play... Um, I'm going to play the... Do I play the solitaire game or do I play the hot seat game where I actually pretend to be all three different players? No, I'm going to play the solitaire game. So here we go. Which one do you want me to play tonight? Do you want me to play Stormfront again, which is what I did in part one, which is book one? Do you want me to play Full Moon, Grave Peril, Summer Night or Death Masks? Now, Matt says he's reading the books at the moment and he's on book three, which is Grave Peril. There may be some spoilers in what you see. So maybe you want me to play Stormfront again or maybe Full Moon uh, or maybe Grave Peril. Let me know in the chat which one you want me to play. Matt is saying Full Moon. Gareth is saying Full Moon. Let's play Full Moon. So this is book two of the series of books, which is the Dresden Files uh, series of books for those who don't know. This is a cooperative card game and this is the digital version that I'm showing tonight, which is available on Steam. Off we go. Difficulty level, I'm going to play on Apprentice. Um, again, just because I'm not great at the game, maybe I'll up the difficulty in future ones. But in part one, all I did was play through the tutorial. So the tutorial is literally step by step telling you exactly what to do. This time, I'm actually going to be making those decisions myself. So, onward. So we've got to control Harry and two companions. I believe when you're playing Hot Seat, I, th I still think one person has to play Harry. So we're going to play, obviously, Harry. Um, yeah, if I'd have bought these extra add-ons, I would have a slightly different variants. So yeah, we're going to choose Harry. And which two characters should we choose? I'm going to choose the same two characters as we had last time which is Karen Murphy and Michael Carpenter, because I kind of know those a little bit, and I'm not going to use these other two. Uh, and I don't have these because I don't have the add-on packs. Again, there's lots of little optional add-on packs that you can buy for this game. Um, and we can see here, you can see the number of types of cards that are in this deck. So Michael has three cards that allow him to get an advantage, three cards that overcome obstacles. Karen Murphy is good at investigating because um, she works for the police force. Right, onward, here we go. Right, so this is the board, and we're going to have to. We're just going to take a minute to look at this. As it says, we need to form our planner of attack. So we're going to select a character portrait to view their cards, and when we're ready to begin, click the large flashing arrow. So here are the 12 cards for this scenario. Um, now, remember to win, we need to have solved more cases than there are foes remaining. So let's look at the cases. We have who set up McFinn which needs nine clues, no special things on that card. Uh, the other two cases are down. Ah, oh, this is interesting. There's only three cases in this game. So we've got Rescue Marcone, uh, which requires 11 clues, and Harry's Investigate cards used on this case are at minus one. So Harry is not good at investigating this particular case here. Then we have Which Wolf is Which, uh, which requires seven clues, and there is a B on this. So let's look at the B. This is an advantage card, which has got a B. When taken, active player draws two cards and add two clues to which wolf is which. So we probably want to do that, um, saved by Terror West. So they're the cases. Now let's look at the foes. So we have uh, Luke Guru at Precinct. There's werewolves in this. Spoilers, if you haven't read the books, but there are werewolves in this one. Uh, so Luke Guru at Precinct, nine hits. And it cannot receive hits until Lunar Cycle is overcome. So this is Lunar Cycle. This is an obstacle here. Until we overcome this, we cannot add hits to this. We have uh, the Street Wolves, which is a gang. That requires five hits. We've got Escape the Street Wolves. And when defeated, we remove one clue from any case. Okay, so there you go. So we don't want to defeat it, but we might have to. 
We have eight hits there from the ex FBI Hexen Wolves. And then we have another loop guru. Oh, there's two loop gurus. Right, so neither of these, there's one at the precinct and one at Marcones. Neither of these can be can take hits until Lunar Cycle has been overcome. Thankfully, this obstacle is at the start of a path, so it's at the start of the row, so we're going to get that one. And that's about it. We don't have much else. Oh, we have another obstacle here, Arrest Warrant. All attacks are at minus one hit because it looks like Harry's been arrested. Jason's here. Hi, Jason. Thank you for joining in. Um, and we have our talents and we have our blasting rods and these are our cards. These are the cards which have been chosen. Remember your deck, your, your physical deck in this game is like nine cards or ten cards or something crazy. Um, maybe it's twelve. It's not many anyway. Um, and yeah, these are the six cards that Harry's got. So Harry has got three attack cards, two overcome cards. So we can, we can, certain, we can overcome this lunar cycle straight away uh, with this. Cost one fate. Range one, yeah, nice and easy, so we can get rid of that straight away. That will then allow us to start putting hits on these loop gurus. Oh, we've got another advantage card here. I missed this one. Alphas to the rescue. Cannot take until at least one case has been solved, but when you take it, add one hit to all foes, and you collect three plus the result of two dice in fate. Okay. So let's have a look at... Oh, don't want to click that. Where was it? It was that one and that one. Yeah, so this is Karen's hand. So we have an attack card, one range... Three investigates. If I wasn't live streaming this, I would probably spend a good five minutes now looking at these cards and working out what we're doing because this is a this is a puzzle game. My hands have just come out. And if I plug them back in, that's going to mess up the streaming software. He says, hopefully we're okay. Yeah, we're okay, I think. Oh, no, there you go. It's glitched. Yeah, it does that. Let's just go back. Has it, has it rectified itself? I think it has. Is it going to come back? Yep, yeah, I think it's going to come back. It does that. You can't even plug headphones in with this software. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, if I wasn't live streaming this, I would spend a good five minutes because this is a puzzle game. And you've got to work out how you're going to solve this puzzle with the cards that you've got. Um, let's just have a look at what Michael Carpenter's got. But because I'm live streaming it, I don't want to spend five minutes staring at the cards and thinking about them. Um, okay. So we've got, we've got here, we've got this is overcome one obstacle as well. So Michael has a card which is one range, one fate, overcomes one obstacle, which we can do on this. Harry's also got one fate, overcome one obstacle. So let's have a think who's going to go first. If Michael goes first, it will then be Harry's go. Harry, oh, look at this. We've got all of these foes lined up here. So that would be good for the Pyro Fuego. Um, but remember... Where is it? All attacks are at minus one hit because of this. So how do we overcome that obstacle? It's at range five. We don't have any cards that can overcome obstacles at range five, as far as I know. No, I mean, Karen's not got any cards to overcome obstacles. Michael's cards. Two range, one range. Right, so we're not getting rid of this card anytime soon. The only way we're going to do this is by shuffling things around or getting rid of these in order to bring that obstacle closer. Um, now, Harry's talent is whenever you discard a card for fate points, you can move an obstacle or an advantage card one space forward. So that's what we could do. Harry could be discarding cards for fate points, and every time we do that, we can bring this obstacle further forward. Let's do that. I think we're going to do that. So. Uh, we're going to click on the button and we're going to decide now who goes first. And this is a really important decision. I've kind of covered it briefly. Um, but yeah, we're going to let Michael go first, which means Harry will then go next. Yeah, so Michael's going to go first. Michael Carpenter's turn. Uh, and we're going to play this prayer. So we're going to play this. It's going to cost one fate. And we're going to get rid of this obstacle. Again, the game has replayability because those 12 cards, they're shuffled and they're placed out. So every time you play, it's a slightly different puzzle to solve. Oh, I've done the wrong thing, haven't I? Yeah, I didn't mean to discard it. I meant to, I meant to play it. Okay, I've messed that up. <laughs> I've completely messed that up. I pressed the wrong button. Oops, that was the discard. I'm tired. It's late. Um, so yeah, I've completely messed that up. All of my plans. Yeah, Matt says stop. Unfortunately, I didn't see that message in time. Yeah, my bad. Sorry for that. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a waste. Anyway, it's Harry's go, so Harry's going to do this. 
click it, and then you click this. That's it. Okay, so we're going to overcome that one. Yeah, that was a fairly big decision, a uh, fairly big mistake. Oh, these, these yellow glowing things here, I did speak to the developers afterwards, and what it is is because they've enabled this um, so that it'll now work on, on um, consoles and con with controllers, that is telling me which card is currently highlighted by my controller. It's a bug, it shouldn't be there because I'm not using a controller, uh, and they are going to fix that in a, in a new patch. Right, so it's Karen's go. We've overcome that obstacle, so we can now start applying hits to this, but remember, all attacks are at minus one. But we probably want to play this. It's going to cost us four and a bit of fate, but it is a one-range card. It's either that, or we start investigating this and rescue Marco. Um, let's have a look at our stunt. Can we have a look at our stunt? Yeah. As your turn, flip this card over to collect one fate point for each foe with hits and each case with clues in it. Okay, we're not going to do that. And this is... That's when you discard cards for fate, which we're not going to do. So I think we're going to do the surprise Aikido move. Uh, and it's a shame in this game. This is one of the downsides, unfortunately. Um, and this isn't a problem with the developers of the digital version. It's a problem with the physical game. Is the cards all have the same artwork. So Karen's interrogation in the no detective work it's all got the same artwork um, so the surprise Aikido move is Karen shooting a gun it's a little disappointing I'm kind of spoilt by games which have you know the artwork's nice in this game well some of it is I'm not too keen on these things but it's just a shame that every card of the same type has the same artwork um, anyway uh, there you go, Mark. Your message got held up because <laughs> detected that word was a naughty word. It's not really a naughty word, is it? Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to do the surprise Aikido move? We could call for backup. We could get rid of it. Oh, we can't. We can't do that until the case has been solved. So we could start solving cases. We could put two clues on a card at range three. We could put three and a bit cards. No, I think we're going to do the surprise Aikido move. Yeah. So we're going to do it. We're going to spend the fate. It's going to cost us five fate. Ouch. Um, but we're going to put it on this. Why is it saying we can put it on that? Oh, it's just highlighting this card because the attack is at minus one hit. So instead of it being four, it will be three. There you go. So three hits on the loop guru at the precinct. Right, Michael's turn. Don't make a mistake. Now, Michael, by discarding a card, does mean that I now have uh, plus two range whenever I want to do it. We'll trigger automatically. Okay, right. So what we're going to do, are we going to play our Dragon Slayer card? It costs us five fate, but it is going to do lots of hits. Yeah, I think we do. I think we play that. Okay, so we're going to play Dragon Slayer, and it's going to do six hits. Oh, this would have killed it if it weren't for the fact that it's minus one. Okay, that's a shame. I probably shouldn't have put it on that one. I probably should have put it on the other one. Can I turn the sound down a bit? Yes, I can. Uh, easily. That is in options, uh, audio, sound. Drop it down to there. There you go. How's that? Resume game. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put the six hits on there. I should have used my plus two range. And I should have put it on the here. Now, Harry's got a blasting rod. As your turn, choose a foe that can be defeated one to four hits to receive four hits. Okay, don't want to do that. We want to discard cards for fate points because we're down to two fate points now. So we're going to be discarding cards. Um, what do we want to discard? I definitely don't want to discard Pyro of Fuego. Uh, for Zare, two hits at range one. Yeah, I think we're going to discard this for fate. So we've discarded it for one fate. That's a bit rubbish. But we do get to move uh, the obstacle or the advantage one space forward. There we go. Right, okay. Karen's turn. Karen doesn't have any attack cards left. Oh, no. So we're going to investigate. Uh, now, this is going to cost four. This is going to cost three. This is going to cost five. Oh, okay, no. Karen's going to have to discard. 
Um, because if you ever use fate points and it uses too many, the, tr the showdown's triggered immediately. And if the showdown happens now, we lose. Uh, there's no way we can do this. We can't take Alphas to the rescue yet because a case hasn't been solved. Yeah, we're going to have to discard. Um, which one are we going to discard? I think this one. We're going to discard in the nose. So we're going to discard this for fate. And we get... How much fate do we get from it? Oh, come on. Two minuses. That's not good. Um, when you discard for fate, add a clue to the... Uh, case at the longest range. Right, Michael. Oh no, Michael does not have any attack cards. Uh, this is this is this is not gone well. <laughs> this has not gone well at all. We could banish the darkness. That's going to add three clues to this. Yeah, this is not good, is it? What about this blessing? Hmm. And we've got these two. We don't need these two. We might need that one. What can Michael do when he discards? Oh, he gets plus two range. So we could... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to do this, and we're going to play it on here. And that's going to be three clues. Yeah, this is not going well, this one. So now it's Harry's turn. Harry's probably going to discard. Now, we can't get rid of these attack cards. But Harry is now the only character with, a, with attack cards left. Wow. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? If we're lucky, that will overcome that, but I don't think it will. I think we're going to have to discard this. Yeah, we're going to discard this for fate. Okay, we get three fate back, and I'm going to bring this one forward. Okay. It is a quick game, this. Uh, he can get rid of the warrant. Where's the warrant? This one. Oh, he could have done. Because he had plus two range, didn't he? Yeah, it would have cost three fate, though. It would have been expensive. Right, what's Karen going to do? Um, there's only three clues on this. We're not going to be able to solve that. Do we want to discard for fate? Or do we want to call for backup? Oh, we can't call for backup because that's there. We could discard the Kevlar vest. That will get us an extra one on there. We could collect fate points, which would be one, two, three. So once per once per game, we can do our stunt, which would be three fate. Is that what we want to do, or do we want to put some hits on other things? I think we want to put some hits on other things. So I think Karen is going to discard this. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to win this. I'm glad I played on easy. I think easy is probably okay once you're experienced with the game and you make the right decisions. Um, Andrew is saying, tried one game but got wrecked. Yes, it, it isn't easy. It is a challenge. Right, it's Michael's turn. So Michael does have the plus two range and could now take the arrest warrant. Yeah, we could have done that before. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, he can't really do anything else, can he? He can't take this advantage. Oh, no, I could take this one. I can take this one. Because I've got the plus two range. This allows me to take an advantage at range two. Plus two is four. I could take this. And when I take this, Michael's going to get two cards. I wonder if you can see what cards Michael's got in his deck. Uh, there are the cards in his hand. What's this? I think they're the cards that he's played. I thought you could see the cards in his deck. Maybe not. I mean, you can. There is another option when you're not playing the game. You can actually look at all the cards. Um, but yeah, I thought there was a way of looking at the cards in his in his deck. But no, appears not. So we're going to do that. We're going to play the blessing, and we're going to play it. Um, it's going to cost a variable amount of fate. It's going to cost us two fate but we're going to use it to take that card. So that card is gone. So the arrest warrant. We've freed Harry, which means all attacks are now at their normal. Okay, so what's Harry going to do? Harry is now going to do Pyro Fuego, and he's going to do two damage to all of these on here. Oh, he can't. Ah, it costs four. 
We can't actually play a card. If we play a card, that's going to trigger. That's going to trigger the showdown. So we could. Yeah, no, it's a bit of a waste. Using the blasting rod is a bit of a waste. We're going to have to discard a card. What are we going to discard? I uh, kind of don't want to get rid of Consult with Bob. But I think we might have to. Yeah, we're going to have to discard this for Fate. Okay, so we got four Fate. We can bring something forward if we want to. And yeah, let's let's bring this forward. Not sure it's going to matter. You can actually bring it forward or push it back. So you can you can shuffle things around a bit. Right, Karen's turn. We've got seven Fate. Karen could now use her special ability and it would get one, two, three. But I, I, I still think we're going to wait. We're going to... We need to make sure that on Harry's turn, we have four fate, right? So that's what matters, is that Harry has four fate when it's his turn, which means Michael is probably going to discard for two. So that's going to put us on nine, which means Karen can play a card for four. Which will be this one. So we are going to play this. We're going to investigate who set up Marcone. Put some clues on there. Okay, it's only two. And then Michael is going to discard this for fate, which is two, and then it refreshes his plus two range ability. Okay, and then Harry's turn. Harry does Pyro Fuego and does damage to everything in this row. There you go. Right, okay, we're making progress. And now on Karen's turn, we use our stunt, our once per game ability, to get one fate for everything that's got something on it. So we're going to use that. Play Raw Determination. That's going to get us five, six. Yeah, okay, so we've got six. Now, here's the problem. We haven't solved any cases. We have four foes remaining. And Michael is on one card left. And he can't actually do anything with it. Only he could. He could do this. Yes, and he's going to. So he plays this card, puts it on here with the plus two range. Oh yeah, that was the plan, I remember now. Um, so he uses Kevlar helps to do Saved by Terror West. When, when taken, the active player draws two cards. So we get two cards and two clues go on there. Right, Harry's turn. Six fate. We only have Fuego and we can use it. We can kill one of these. And we've got the Blasting Rod as well. We can use the Blasting Rod to kill these street wolves. Let's do that. Yeah, so we're going to save the fate, we're going to use the blasting rod, and we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so the once per game ability, that's that gone. Three foes left. We've still not solved any cases. It's all down to you, Karen. Detective work is not going to work. I mean, look at this. We really haven't... Yeah, we're not going to solve any cases in this game, are we? This is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. We really need to, to do this, but you can only do that once a case has been solved. I mean, we could. We could solve this case. Oh, no, it's too far away. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, it's range three. It's too, it's, yeah, it's too far away. Um, oh, let's have a look at what the other characters have got. Yeah, okay, so this is getting discarded because there's no more obstacles. And Harry's got that, so Karen is the only one with an Investigate card left. I mean, I don't have to play it, I could discard. Could discard this. Is that the only purple card we've got left? Yeah, it is. So we, we can't discard this, because if we do that... Oh dear, 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 dear. Hmm. Yeah, and if Investigation solves target case, add three clues to any one case. She's really good. If she uses her uh, her cards to solve one case, then she adds clues to another case, and it's comboing them together. I'm going to play this again, because um, I've definitely played badly. I don't know what we can do here. A bit stuck. And the chat's gone quiet. There's no answers in the chat. That's because probably nobody's got the answers. I could just discard this. 
But then again, none of the cases are getting solved. Yep, I think I'm a bit stuck. I mean, this is going to do three clues, possibly four. It's not going to be enough, is it? So there's, there's. Okay, I'm going to put it on this one. So we've got a roll. We got a plus, so it is four clues. I'm now thinking of the showdown, because in the showdown we are going to get a chance to actually, you know, <laughs> beat one of them. Um, so I think we're going to put it on this one. Yep, there we go. You're dead is the answer, yeah. The mistaken card at the start is, is actually, yeah, because it's such a short game, every move is critical. Um, so yeah, Michael can't really do much. So we're, this has got a one range, so we're going to discard this. Because we don't need that anymore. So that's been discarded, we've got a four fate. And we flip that card over. Okay, and then Harry's turn, what's Harry got left? He's got Fuego, which can kill something. Yep. Yeah. It can totally kill something. We've used the Blasting Rod. Yeah, so Fuego's going to go, and it's going to do four damage. So that's going to get rid of this one. We've escaped the Street Wolves. Uh, one clue gets removed. Pfft, don't really matter. Let's remove this one. Uh, Karen's turn. We still haven't solved the case, so we can't actually use this. So we're going to discard that for fate. Okay, but then, if I've understood this correctly, it's Michael's turn. Oh, Michael does have one card, um, but can't use it because... Oh no, can use it. It's only going to do three hits though. So we're going to discard that for fate as well. Ugh. Yeah, the dice haven't been with me in this game either. <laughs> um, and then on Harry's turn... Yeah, so Harry would have to pass, and passing cost one fate. Nobody's got any cards left, so we're going to go to the showdown. Uh, well, I'm not really ready, but I'm going to click I'm ready. <laughs> so here we go. We've got three fate. What can we do? Nothing. We can spend two fate on this. Uh, and that's about it. What are these showing up here? Yeah, okay. So two fate on that. We're adding two clues. There you go, we solved one case. Huzzah! Um, we do get to roll for this, though. Oh, but it's saying it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible because zero gets you uh, six dice uh, and one gets you once. But you, you, we can't, we can't do it, so... Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting this wrong. Ah, right, it's moved them around. Okay, so they were in two different rows. I missed that. So we can do this. And there we go. That is game over. We failed. We solved one case and we had two foes remaining. I'm going to play again, okay? So I am going to play again. We're going to use exactly the same characters. And we'll play the same thing again. And we'll see how we get on. So same difficulty level. Uh, Harry with the other two. Off we go. Let's see if we do better this game. And of course, it's a completely different setup. Dead as a doornail. Yes, says David. <laughs> Definitely. Right, okay, let's have another look at the table. So this time, Saved by Terror is at range one. So again, we can get that very soon. Um, these obstacles are at range four and five, so they're going to be a problem. But we probably should try and get rid of this arrest warrant first. If we try and get rid of that one first, um, then, then we start doing the attacks. So I think we want to get rid of this first. The Saved by Terror West. We'll try and get rid of that first. Let's have a look at what Karen's got. Karen has one attack. Three of them. Motorcycle. Kevlar Vest. So, we, so Karen could take Saved by Terror West. Um, Michael... Oh, Michael's got lots and lots of these taking advantage cards, which are useless for him. So he's going to be he's going to be discarding a lot. In fact, he's got one attack card, and that's it. Wow, that's terrible draw. So I think 
I think Michael is probably the one that needs to do this because Michael doesn't have many other cards in hand. Almost as bad as a Chaos Warrior. <laughs> yes, almost. Um, okay, I think Michael's going to go first and Michael is going to get rid of the Saved by Terror West because I think Michael is the best person to get the two extra cards. So, Michael's going first. Let's play the card correctly this time. One fate, one range. Click on there. Done. Michael draws two cards. Nice. Okay, Harry. What's Harry going to do? Now, thankfully, we have four foes in a line again. So his Pyro Fuego is going to do really well. But all hits are at minus one. All attacks are at minus one. Now, I'm not sure whether that means it's actually going to put... You know, it's... It's two hits to all foes. Is, does that mean it's going to be one hit to all foes? Or is it just minus one hit to one of them? I don't know. I'd, 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 like, to, I'd like to know. Um, and I wonder if Google's got the answer. If anybody wants to Google this, how does arrest warrant work with Pyro Fuego in the Dresden Files cooperative card game? Um, yeah, I want to know if it's reducing all of the hits by one or just one of them. What are we going to do? We need to do some investigating. Yeah, we need to get we need to get a case done as early as possible in order to get the alphas to the rescue. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use soul gaze even though it's minus 1 on this. We're going to do it. Oh, there's dice again. So that's 3 minus another one because it's Harry is two two clues. That's awful. Gareth's got to go to bed. Thank you very much, Gareth. And Matt is saying use the blue beetle. Oh, too late now, I'm afraid. I missed that message and I've moved on. I'll have a look at it next time if it's still there. Um, so we can't put any hits on the Loop Guru because the Lunar Cycle's there. We could use the Motorcycle to get rid of the Lunar Cycle, but it costs three. It's really expensive. We could investigate. I mean, all of her investigates are like three range and we don't need that. It's such a waste. Let's play... In the no. Oh, dice again. Yeah, being really unlucky with the dice today. Two clues on there. Right, Michael's turn. Um, how many we're on? We're on three fate. And this is the other big thing about the game, is you need to look at what the next character is planning to do. Blue Beetle could have overcome the obstacle. Yeah, could have done. Uh, so I need to leave enough fate to do that. So I think we're going to discard one of these. We're going to discard this one for four fate. It's really good. So we've discarded that and his plus two range is there. Okay, so Harry, are we going to do the blue beetle to get rid of that? I mean, if we roll a plus, we might do. I'm tempted to discard. I'm very tempted to discard. Because if I discard, I can then bring it forward. Then again, I'm swapping it with the other one. Mm. Okay, we'll do the blue beetle. So we're going to do the blue beetle and we'll roll to see what range we get. We get a minus. So this is really, really bad. Target is no longer reach reachable. Right, yeah, so that we've lost the card. Yeah, the dice are really, really against me tonight, aren't they? So yeah, discarded the card, spent it. That's, yeah, that's, that's not good. We're probably going to lose this as well. Um, I, I mean, I remember when I played this game, I played this game a lot months ago, um, and you do get better at it the more you play. I am making some silly mistakes here. What are we going to do? We need to save these investigates until that's there. I think we're just going to throw a card away. Yeah, we're going to throw a card away for fate, and that's going to add... One clue to that. Okay, right, Michael's turn. Michael's got this. Michael can put... Okay, I I'm going I'm to do this. I'm going I'm to take a risk. I'm going to add five clues to this. It might completely backfire. If I roll a plus, um, then we go to the showdown and it's game over. No, I didn't. Okay. So, we're going to put five clues on this. 
There you go. Right, Harry's turn. Harry needs to discard. So we're going to discard... Um, yeah, we're going to discard for a go. It's really good, but we're going to discard it. And we're going to bring something forward one. I don't know. What are we going to bring forward? Uh, this is the point where I need to be looking at the other characters' cards, and unfortunately I can't. Um, Matt's advising me to roll better. Thank you, Matt. Yes, I definitely should be rolling better. Um, do we want to bring anything forward? I'm not sure we do, actually. I'll say no thanks. But yeah, I'd like at that point to be able to look at the other characters' cards. Karen's turn. Right, now we can do it. We can actually do this and we can add two clues to this. That will complete it and then we can add, then we can draw a card. So it's going to cost four fate, which we have four fate. Let's just check what Michael was going to do. Michael's probably going to end up discarding. Yeah, so we're going to do this. It's four fate. Uh, we're going to put it on here. That solves that, which means we draw a card. Michael's turn. So we've got one fate left. We could... No, we're going to discard some stuff. What are we going to discard? Now, we have solved the case. Great. So we can take this, which costs two. So we can't. Ah! Uh, now, who's going to take it? We've only got one advantage left. Is Harry going to take it? Harry has this, which costs two... Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's a better card, slightly, but I think we're just going to have to discard that for fate. Yeah, okay, and then on Harry's turn, we're going to play this to take this. Okay, so rolling for fate points, and we add a hit. Everywhere. Nice. So on Karen's turn, Karen can now use her... Um, so yeah, so which... Um, has the Lunar Cycle still there? Yeah, we're playing this very differently. We haven't got rid of Lunar Cycle yet. Um, I think we're going to do Karen's special ability. It's going to get me one, two, three, four fate. Can we get any more out of it? Not really. So yeah, we're going to use Karen's stunt. There you go. We've got four fate out of that. Right, Michael's turn. We can use this prayer, and we can get rid of it now. We'll use the prayer to get rid of that with the plus two range. Okay, it's gone. So attacks are back working again now. Harry has been freed. Um... And we now have the Pyro Fuego, and we have enough to use it. So we're going to do it. There you go. Two hits to everything in this row. Why not that one? Ah, yeah, not that one because... Can you go back? Can you go back? You can go back. Yeah, that can't receive hits because that's still there. Is that okay? I think it is. I think we're just going to leave these two loop gurus. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to do two hits to everything in that row. Okay. Karen's turn. We only have three fate left. So we might discard... this for fate. Yeah, I think we're going to discard that for fate. How much fate do we get? Oh, come on. <laughs> These random numbers tonight. Awful. Right, Michael's turn. Um, I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to do a blessing to overcome this. Or do we? Or do we just not bother? Both of these cards are range one, which is thematic because he's carrying a sword of the cross. Uh, oh, we have this as well. We have our stunt. What does it do? Cannot be played at this time. As your turn, flip the card over to add three hits to any legal foe that has no hits on it. Oh, and then move it back. Okay, so, yeah, we can't use that yet. I think we're going to discard... We're going to discard this for fate. Yeah. Okay, finally, we got a plus. 
Okay, now, Harry's go. Harry has one card left. It is for Zare, which can't be used. Nope, because it only deals damage to something at range one, and this is the only thing at range one. It can't be hit because of the Lunar Cycle. So we're probably going to discard the card, and this time I am going to look. Yeah, badge, overcome. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to do detective work? Hmm. I think we need to do the detective work on this one. So I'm... Is Harry going to discard? Yeah, I think Harry's going to discard this for fate. Oh, nice. I got a plus. I complained enough. The dice have now listened to me. So we're going to bring this forward. Yeah. Okay, so on Karen's turn, she's going to use this detective work here. I'm going to use that. Hopefully I don't roll a minus. Spoke too soon. Oh. That's a pain. That's a real pain. Yeah, I'm one clue short on that. And I would have got three clues on the other one if I'd have succeeded. Oh, that is a pain. Um, okay, so I think we're going to use the blessing to overcome this. Yeah, there's not much else we can do now. So we use the blessing. We roll for the fate cost. Oh, yeah, of course. I get the plus now when I don't need it. So that goes there. I'll get rid of that. Harry's turn has no cards in hand, so we're going to have to pass, which does use one fate. Oh, no, we've got the blasting rod. Can he use it? Yes. Kill something that can be defeated. Yeah, okay. So we're going to use that. It's a bit of overkill, but that's fine. That's a Fogon. And that loses a clue. And then on Karen's turn, we are going to... Hmm. I think we're going to discard this. Yeah, we're going to discard that for fate. That adds a clue to the case at the longest range, which is that. Then on Michael's turn... Oh, what do we do here? Do we attack something? We have, we do have plus two range. No, we can't. That'll bring the showdown in. Ah, rats. But we can use Amaracus. So we'll hit this. Yeah, so we hit it with Amaracus. Deals three damage to it and pushes it back. Harry's turn. Oh, let's have a look now. Karen's got that card in hand, which will not be able to play. And then Michael's got that in hand, which... He won't. He will be able to play, but it's not going to do anything. So I think, I think we've lost this game again. Um, I think what we need to do is we need to pass Harry's go. Okay. Yeah, this will work. And then on Karen's turn, we're going to discard this card. Yeah. Yeah, typical. Got a minus again. Okay, which adds a clue to the case at the longest range, and we can add it to this, which gets rid of it. And then on Michael's turn, Michael discards this, or do we do we play it? It might actually... Yeah, we're not going to win, but let's do it anyway. Uh, no, right, let's think about this. If we decide to discard this for 5 Fate, that'll give us 11 Fate going into the showdown. That might be enough to get rid of these two cards. No, it won't be enough to get rid of this one. But then we would have had two foes remaining and it would have been two cases solved. So yeah, we're still not going to win, but we'd be closer. Whereas if I use it now, I might kill this, but then I'd have no fate going into the showdown. So I think my best chance, not that I really have a chance, is to discard it for five fate. Okay, so on Harry's turn, we go to the showdown. And here we go. So, let's read this right again. Yeah, this was the top row and this is the bottom row. So, we have 11 fate to spend. At most, we can spend three. Ah. So, we'll spend three on there. Done. Three on there. Not done. Three on there. Not done. Finished. There you go. Better looks next time. Hell's bells. He says that a lot. Two cases solved, three foes remaining. And if we click on this button... 
Yeah, so this button's also bugged. This should do something. This show should show a log of the game. Um, but the developers were watching last time we streamed this and they did spot that. So I think they're going to try and fix that because they released a big patch to this fairly recently. Um, anyway, we are done. So thank you very much for watching. Very impromptu stream. Two games of Dresden Files cooperative card game. Uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, even if you don't get this game yourself, um, you know, you can help me try and solve this puzzle. I'm, I'm going to play this game again tomorrow. I might. As a bit of a break from the video work that I'm doing at the moment, I might have a break at lunchtime tomorrow and I might play this again because I really want to try and solve this puzzle. Um, obviously, the dice come into it, the random setup at the start. It isn't just a case of solving it and then it's done. It's a different puzzle each time. Anyway, going to sign off for tonight. Uh, massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that are funding the channel at the moment. Uh, most of them are in the chat at the moment, so thank you very much to you. But if you're watching this afterwards, a lot of the work that I create is only made possible through the support of my Patreon campaign. So check that out. There's a link in the show notes below. I will be back tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock UK time, with a solo playthrough of Mage Knight. So if you're interested in watching me play through Mage Knight, I'm going to be designing, uh, I'm going to be playing through a scenario designed by somebody called Paul Grogan, who sounds like a bit of a loser to me. Um, but that's the scenario that I'm going to be playing tomorrow night. So yes, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock UK time, Mage Knight solo, board game, join in. Apart from that, take care everybody, have a good night, and I will see you next time. Cheers all. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.